my name is abhishek and welcome back to mbbs treasure channel today we are going to read about the action potential graph of a neuron it comes under the physiology of excitation of a tissue and under this we will learn the different phases of action potential graph of a neuron and why these phases appear in the graph so this is a small demo figure that i have drawn how the action potential graph of a neuron will look like and why this graph will look like this i will be explaining by drawing in front of you okay so now let's read about the graph first of all in the graph the first phase of the action potential is resting state it means the neuron is positioned in a resting state in a resting state it has negative charges inside and positive charges outside of the membrane and this is due to the sodium potassium pump that 3 is to 2 ratio of activity of sodium and potassium pump what do we mean by 3 is to 2 ratio it means the sodium potassium pump will take 3 uh, sodium ions from the inside and throw it outside and 3 sodium ion to outside and 2 potassium ions to inside ok so it helps in change in the potential of the neuron it means outside there will be more positive charges accumulation and inside there will be less positive charges accumulation this is the reason why the membrane potential is negative inside and the net membrane potential is negative because inside inside membrane potential minus outside membrane potential so what will be the resultant potential it will be negative so this thing we know so in resting membrane potential condition of a neuron what will be the value of the neuron it is minus 70 millivolt in this graph the y-axis consists of the uh, millivolt or potential then uh, x-axis consists of the time uh, with respect uh, the potential change with respect to time so in starting condition it is in a rest for this much amount of time the neuron was in a rest then suddenly what happens an external stimuli of threshold energy or threshold strength strength acts on this neuron what will happen it will start to depolarize it will start to depolarize means certain small amount of opening of sodium gated channel will open initially at rest at rest there was no opening of the sodium gated channel it was closed it was, means the sodium was not allowed into the cell it was in initial position but when there will be when there will be an external stimuli then some some means little amount of sodium gated channel will open that will lead to influx of sodium ion and that influx of sodium giant, uh, ions leads to decrease of membrane potential and when the membrane potential will decrease from minus 70 likewise minus 69 minus 68 to minus 55 it will reach certain value that is known as critical level of depolarization it means when it will reach critical level of depolarization then the graph will suddenly rise straight wise in a very short span of time to plus 65 millivolt okay now we know what is minus 70 resting membrane potential what is minus 55 it is critical level of depolarization now what is plus 65 plus 65 means it is a equilibrium of potential charge of sodium ions ok I will explain you why what is this what does this means now what happens in this condition in the next phase when it reaches the critical level of depolarization when 
the uh, membrane potential is at minus fifty five. When the membrane potential is minus fifty five, then if this is a cell and these are the voltage gated sodium channels. What happens at minus fifty fifty five? There will be rapid opening of sodium gated channels. There will be maximum and rapid opening of sodium gated channels. So there will be maximum number or maximum influx of sodium ions into the membrane or into the cytoplasm of a neuron. That will cause decrease of potential. That will cause rapid influx, rapid influx, influx. of sodium ion rapid influx of sodium ion will change the potential or the membrane potential towards more positive value and suddenly it reaches to zero and then after it reaches to plus 65 value okay so this thing the first one is resting state or the resting phase of action potential graph then the second one this part of the graph that it increases from minus 70 to minus 55 millivolt it is the second phase of the action potential that is local potential showing the local response coming to a certain kind of stimuli this red depicts the stimuli okay then this is the depolarization phase this is the important phase in the action potential graph this is a depolarization phase this part is the depolarization Phase. So this part is the third one, depolarization phase. And what is the reason of depolarization? Influx of sodium ions. Rapid influx of sodium ions. There will be sodium ions coming. into the cell membrane and uh, increasing the potential towards positive means minus 55 minus 70 to minus 55 then minus 50 to zero so it will be increasing the potential then what happens after zero when it reaches to plus 65 the opening or the sodium channel that were open it gets inactivated that will lead to inactivation of sodium channel when it will be reaching plus 65 and i have said that plus 65 is the equilibrium potential of sodium ions it means the maximum amount of sodium the cell or the neuron can intake into its cytoplasm is plus 65 the potential or that condition of maximum intake of sodium channel at equilibrium is plus 65 inactivated means if this is the sodium gate okay here comes the sodium but here there lies a blocker that blocks and do not allows the incoming sodium ions into the channels into the cells because inside the inside the cell or the neuron there is maximum amount of sodium that repels the further incoming of sodium ion into the cell so it inactivates the sodium gated channel this is the inactivation of sodium channel at the apex of the action potential means at this position of the action potential graph there will be inactivation of sodium channel okay now this position or this part of graph is known as overshoot it means it is the portion of the graph that is present or the potential of the membrane potential of a neuron is f of 0 okay then after this what happens to the graph the graph will fall like this and it will attain like this so 
What do you mean by the falling of the graph? The falling of the graph, this phase is known as repolarization. Repolarization. It is a fifth and it was four. Okay. So it is a part of the repolarization. What happens uh, to fall of the graph or uh, what actually means there will be decrease of the uh, membrane potential from positive towards negative. The charge will come from positive towards negative. What is the reason behind this? In this, there will be outflux of potassium ion through openings, openings of potassium voltage gated channels. Okay. In this condition, what happens? There will be openings or there will be opening of voltage gated channel for potassium ion in which there will be maximum outflux of potassium ions because here the sodium ion is inactivated. Now the sodium cannot come into the cell. Only the positive charges that are present inside the cells, inside the cells of the neuron that it had it has to be lost. So how it loses? It loses by outflux or throwing out the potassium ions through the voltage gated channel by opening the voltage gated potassium channels. You can see one thing in this. The time gap between the opening of sodium channels and opening of potassium channels. It is very short and it is very rapid. It means the opening of sodium channel is very much rapid that lead to influx of uh, sodium ions and leads to decrease of the membrane potential towards positive charges. So here it becomes positive charges. But what happens uh, the next phase? In the next phase, uh, from the peak of the action potential, there will be opening of potassium voltage, voltage gated potassium channel, but in a less time. According to less time, or very slowly, it will open. So the potential will decrease. Okay, in this, the potential will decrease from positive towards negative value. This portion of the graph is known as negative outer polarization. What do I mean by this? In this graph. The graph reaches from plus 65 to minus 55. That was previously critical level of depolarization. Then the potential again decreases from critical level to resting membrane potential to become minus 70 millivolt. So the rapid change of the uh, potential is known as negative after potential. Then comes the last phase of the graph that is hyperpolarization. This phase is known as hyperpolarization. What is the cause of hyperpolarization? Previously, there were opening of the potassium gated channel so that maximum amount of potassium can be thrown out from the cell to decrease the membrane potential to a certain level. And then if you will consider this line, it comes here and what is this? This is minus 90 or it can be minus 88. This is minus 88 or minus 90 millivolt. What is this value called? So what is this value of minus 88 and minus 19 millivolt? It is the equilibrium potential of potassium ions. It means that maximum amount of potassium that can be present inside the cytoplasm of a neuron or a cell. And here the plus 65 means equilibrium potential of sodium ions. It means the maximum amount of sodium that the cell or the cytoplasm of a neuron can uh, kill. Okay. So uh, we were talking about the hyperpolarization. Hyperpolarization means it is a part of the graph in which the sodium gated, uh, sorry, the potassium gated channel which was opened, it will be closed. In, uh, in hyperpolarization, 
the potassium gated channels will be closed first thing and second thing here there was inactivated sodium channel the sodium channel will reset reset means it will come to its original position of being closed so from inactivation to closed phase of sodium gated channel so in this video we all learnt about the phases of action potential why it is occurring and why the phases or what are the reasons of these phases of action potential so i am uh, making a quick revisions the first cell was initially at rest so this is the phase of resting state then suddenly what happens this s contributes to the stimuli and there will there must be a minimum threshold strength of stimuli acting on the cell or neuron causing some local potential and when the local potential reaches the critical level of depolarization there will be sudden or rapid increase of influx of sodium ion that will be changing the potential membrane potential from minus 55 towards positive and that rapid influx of sodium channel will take to its positive equilibrium value and then what happens the peak at the peak of the action potential the sodium channel becomes inactivated inactivated means further income of the further incoming of sodium ion is not possible then then the graph this this uh, this part of the graph is uh, known as repolarization the reason of the repolarization is maximum outflux or maximum output of the potassium ion so that it could reduce the membrane potential from positive value towards the negative value then the last phase is the hyperpolarization the reason of hyperpolarization is that the maximum amount of potassium ion, uh, uh, ions or channels that were open previously in the repolarization phase it get closed and the inactivation of sodium channel which was present at the apex or the uh, overshoot position of the act, uh, action potential now it reset or uh, becomes normal to a closed state it means again after that the cell comes to a resting state it means again there will be minus 70 millivolt of membrane potential okay so thank you for watching this video if it was helpful please subscribe and like my channel